Hey, welcome back to Talking Story. All right. Full disclosure right away. Did you even change shirts? I did not. You're just not even because trying to Because I'm just going to be happened. completely honest with everybody. I'm going to be completely honest with everybody. We just recorded last week's Weekly Reader. I'm going to say five minutes ago. Maybe about five minutes ago. So we're recording next week's Weekly Reader an entire week early. So here's the problem with that. I haven't read anything. There's been no week. So there's no weekly read material for me to talk about. So why in the world will we do a weekly reader wrap up before I've read anything? And the reason is, is all because of Jacob. Why you, why you make it sound like it's all my fault? Because it's all because of, here's what's going on. This week, Jacob is leaving. Forever. No. He's going on vacation, going out, going to the big city. Uh huh. Going to the big city, going to New York, going to see a Broadway show, uh, taking his lovely girlfriend. They're going to have a, a week in New York, see all the sights. Uh, what that does is it makes us have to work a little bit early. Uh, so we have everything in place to drop while he's gone. So where the problem comes in, uh, in, in that type of schedule is I haven't read anything for the week because it hadn't been a week. But we didn't want to not have anything. So we're just going to have something. We w You're just going to stare at the camera for I'm 10 minutes? I'm just going to stare at the camera for a good, <laughs> how many minutes do we need? Uh, usually we do like 25 minutes okay. for a weekly reader. Time me, go now. This isn't entertaining. You look like Larry King when you do that. Well, uh, the, uh, Had I known that would cause you to do an impression, I wouldn't have said it. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, Jacob. Do you... no, I, I can't do Larry King. Okay, so we can go over what happened on the channel last week, even though it hadn't happened yet. But last week on the channel, we had the first ever Hijack TBR. Uh, with my brother-in-law, Jonathan, was nice enough to read the first book of Mistborn Era 1. Uh, truly enjoyed it. Had a great time. Going to continue. If you haven't watched that video, check it out. Let me know what you think about that. That, that there's, We want to do more Hijack TBRs. We want to be more involved with uh, any anyone that we can get in touch with and and, and hang out with and, and take over their TBR. Cause so I if you're going it. to be at which bookstore? If you're going to be at Quail Ridge Books in Raleigh, North Carolina... On That's April Q U A I L 4th, Quail 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 Ridge Books at Ra in Raleigh, North Carolina. On April fourth, I will be there for the Christopher Rocchio signing. I believe it's in the evening. Check their website; uh, they have all the information there. Uh, we could meet up there a little early if you're anywhere near there, or we're thinking about going there. Uh, is it possible we could meet up? We would have a little back and forth. We would record you a little bit, getting some information about the kind of books you like, movies you like, TV shows you like, games you like to play. And I'm going to let that kind of percolate and, and I will pick up a book for you. I will buy you a book and I'll hijack your TBR. And then you would have, have to have some way to come on the channel with us uh, long distance, like a, a Zoom call or StreamYard or something like that. Some, some whatever the magic the internet allows us to do. And then we would check back in with you after you've read this, and we would put everything all together through the magic of Jacob's editing, and then we would have our next Hijack TBR. So if you're anywhere near that area and you're interested at all, hit us up in comments and we can set something up. Absolutely. That's, that's kind of, we would like to do more and more of that. So I hope that video went over well. I hope people enjoyed it. It got us out of the studio. It was a lot of fun. We had a great time doing it. And, and if a bunch of people ended up hating the video because it hasn't gone out yet. Oh, I know. It's somewhat. It's, we'll just scrap it and no one can meet us at this bookstore. It, it's somewhat. Uh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little dicey. Like, I hope it's, I hope it, I hope it went over really well. I hope, I hope you enjoyed it. We had a great time. I hope you enjoyed it. After that, we had our talking with tubers for the month of March, and Johan, Library of a Viking, came on. How'd it go? And I, what a what a nice, what an amazing. I don't know. <laughs> it's Sunday. I haven't talked to the man yet. I can't wait to talk to him. He's got one of my favorite channels. Uh, and I can't wait to just kind of hang out and talk books with him, talk booktube with him. And hopefully a lot of you were in the chat and we had a great time. 
I'm sure it was a great time. You'll be in New York. Yeah. You're Even not going to be... Are you going to be on the live stream? No. <laughs> I'm on vacation. I'm not going to yeah. be on that. <laughs> don't answer so quick. I don't like this. I don't watch that. I, I mean, I'd love to be there, I but I won't. I so like I don't know this. what you want me to do. I don't like this channel. I don't care for it, he says. That's not what it's I say. Not, not my thing. I, I would love to... I mean, I'm, you're you're the one talking to Johan. I wouldn't be meeting him, but it, oh, it'd be cool to be I, there and let me tell see you, what he's like. If you could have told me, we, we've been doing this, what, 10 months now, right? Yeah, 10 months. 10 months. If you would have told me at the beginning, it's like, hey, you're going to be hanging out, talking books with Viking from here to the UK, uh, I, w I would have said you're nuts. I would have thought you were crazy. There's a lot of things about our channel that if anyone at the beginning had told us, this is where you'll be. Yeah, I would have been sure they're lying. I would have absolutely thought that they're living in a fantasy world. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's been such an amazing wild ride. And I've I've enjoyed every single second of it. So I can't really go over how that all went last week because it hadn't ha it hadn't happened yet. But what I can tell you, because we do plan a little bit a little bit ahead, I can tell you what's coming up this week, even though we haven't got past last week. How amazing is that? It's like you're time traveling. It's like we actually put stuff together for the month here. It's like it's almost like we're we we know what we're doing. I but we don't. No, no. We don't. No. We let me tell you, it, it's it's literally that story of the of the blind people describing an elephant. You know? What story is this? Yeah, yeah, you got the blind people and one's on the trunk and they're saying, Oh, I think it's a, you know, and one has the ears and something completely different. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's that's Jacob and I doing this. We 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 have no idea what we, we honestly we have no answers of what we're doing. No. No. It's as long we're just having a great time. That's pretty much it. I hit record, you say some crazy things, and I and I put Are it up they on crazy? YouTube. Really? You use a lot of metaphors and pointing and, and wild movements. You, uh, that sounds like me. It, it does. Yeah. That's because it is. That does sound like me. I upset my wife because I bang the table and it shakes this microphone. And she commented on the yeah, last she video. she did comment on it. She doesn't, you know what? She doesn't watch a lot of these videos. She doesn't care for it. It's not her cup of tea. She gets enough of you in the day. She gets she gets enough of me banging a table here in the house. Actually, we started this channel because she was kind of sick of me chasing her around with books and comics going, do you know what I just read? It, she, she, it's, it's, it's not part of our marriage that she enjoys. <laughs> but here you are. But here I... So, subjecting everyone else yeah. to it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, put that out there because I've had enough of it. There's other things that, you know, that she enjoys in our marriage. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. I, I think she does. Yeah, uh, jury's jury's not in yet. But okay, so what's coming up? Even though we haven't been past last week, coming up the uh, next week on Tuesday, the twenty sixth, our Tuesday video will be our artists' journey series, and we have David Liss, personal friend of mine, just realized he had a book out. Uh, is an amazingly well regarded uh, author for historical fantasy. Uh, have ne has never really, even though he's like, he, he I, I, I would hang out and talk. Oh my, the hours we had talked about Babylon five and what that means to us, you know, like he's one of us, but, and, and he's writing a, a sci-fi series for younger readers. And we're getting to get into that too. When we talk to him, um, he's never gone all in on fantasy. He's kind of like skirted the edges here and there with like, uh, the book before this, uh, the, the 11th or 12th enchantment, 11th enchantment, one of those, but he went all in. He went all in on this one. I'm a hundred pages in. Uh, I will have finished it obviously before I talk to him and he is coming on Tuesday. This won't be a live stream. It'll be pre-recorded. but I'm going to talk to him about all kinds of stuff. Please check this out. If he's an author, you don't know, you still, you still really want to get in on this guy, especially now that he's getting into the genre that we know and love. And he's coming into, to our house and, oh, so far he's hitting it out of the park. Absolutely hitting it out of the park. And I can't wait to talk to him. His novel is called The Twelfth Enchantment. I think that was it. Yeah, no, I was just checking if it was 11 or 12. It's 12. It, it's the 12th enchantment. So he, it's, there's some magical realism. He skirts, he skirts around it, but he goes all in on this, on the peculiarities, his newest book. Full-blown magical? Full, uh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's got a nice blend of horror and gas lamp and historical fantasy. And it's just, 
what an amazingly, and a mystery, which makes it such a fun page turner, and the characters are so, he's such a great wordsmith, and I'm gonna go, in our talk, I'm going to go over how he describes a character, because you get a picture in your head, you know this person, and at the same time, it is laugh out loud funny. It, how, how did you like the ending? It, I haven't got to the ending yet, because you know what? The week hadn't happened. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I will know when I talk to him. Please check that out. Please check it out. He deserves your attention. He's a great guy. And then coming up after that, our Thursday video is going to be... Oh, before that, even before that, before Thursday, Wednesday night, the bell is tolling for thee. For whom the bell tolls on Brian Bell's channel, BellTube, I will be the guest on Wednesday evening. Uh, and that will be a live stream. Uh, so please check us out there. We'll put the thumbnail out. We'll tweet it. We'll share it. We'll make sure everyone knows about it on our end. Uh, and I can't wait to talk to Brian. He's just one of the great guys that I've met uh, doing a channel. Uh, and he, he I, every time we get together, we start talking about old man stuff. I don't know who likes to see it. We start talking about pill organizers and mixtapes and, I, I, you know. I laser I, disc. I, I, laser disc. I had one. I had, so I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to come about, but it'll be a good time. And I'm going to make him laugh and he's going to make me laugh. And hopefully everyone in the chat will be joining in and we'll be, we'll be uh, making everybody laugh. So I, check that out. That's Wednesday night. I don't have an exact time because he hadn't got the exact time to me yet. But as soon as we get it, we'll get it out there. So join us Wednesday night on BellTube for whom the bell tolls. I will be there hanging out with Brian. And then Thursday, our video here is going to be my April... TBR. Big stuff. Big stuff. And that will be before your final verdict is in. So that'll be the April TBR minus one book because my palate cleanser book that you are currently voting on, that vote is not finished until the 31st. So we will check in. That even now, not, not as this is recording, but as it's going out. Yeah, as can, it's going out you right can still now, vote. the Hexologist by Josiah Bancroft is in the lead. So if you want to vote for any of the other ones, hand me that real quick. If you want to vote for any of the other ones, which are, if you want to vote for any of the other ones, go back and find that video. If you'd rather me do World We Make by N.K. Jemison or How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix or The Eternal World by Christopher Farnsworth or The Dead Take the A-Train, The Dead Take the A-Train by Richard Codry or Cassandra Craw. If you want to see me do any of those instead, go back and find that video and leave your vote in the comment of what you'd like me. And let's see if we can upset Josiah Bancroft. But if it's Josiah Bancroft, I can't wait to. I've not read him yet, so that would just be amazing for me because I really want to get into him. Can't um, lose either way. So it'll be on the 28th. It'll be my April TBR minus one read because you guys have till the 31st. You have till the last weekly reader of the month to vote. So we'll add something to our TBR the last week, the, the last weekly reader of the month. Um, so you know what? I've done pretty good this week. I've done pretty good this month, not this week, this entire month of not buying a ton of books. I have, well, I just bought one. So that's four, but I've got liar. three. I've got three and maybe one more coming in. But uh, so probably not enough to do a, an entire book haul video in the month of April is what I'm thinking. So I just want to share what has come in so far uh, so even though this can't be an, an entire and full weekly reader, you get a little, you get a little extra. You get a little, as they say in New Orleans, you get a little lanyap. Why do you do this? You, you get a little lanyap, a little extra. You like that? Just say they get a little extra. I Just, did. You don't need the, the, the added. I think by sheer definition, extra should be extra, which makes it a lanyap. Not just extra, it's extra on the extra. So you can't say extra, extra. Then you look like someone selling newspapers on the corner. You got to go a different, you know, broaden your vocabulary. What are you talking about? I, I don't, I, I don't know. So we're going to get a little bit of extra for the weekly reader. I got like just a mini haul of some of the things I brought in. One thing we absolutely will see on the April TBR. I will be starting off April very close to the very first read of that month with Empire of the Dam by Jay Kristoff because I have been waiting for this. I can't wait to start this. Hold it a little back so it's for, it's in focus. There you go. There we go. That's a little bit better, right? 
Yeah. yeah. There you go. So I've been waiting for this. I was such a fan of the first book. What I oh, epic fantasy shrouded in a vampire horror tale. Uh, I, I, the framing device of someone telling their story. An anti-hero that is the darkest shade of gray that you can imagine. It just hit every box for me. It just ticked every box for me. I had the most fun with it, and I have been waiting as soon as I heard this was coming out in 2024. It went on my most anticipated list right away. Uh, I have gotten my copy in, and this will be one of the very, very, very early reads in April. Maybe not the very first one, because I do have to read the next novella before I go up and meet Christopher Rocchio at the signing. Uh, but this would be the very the thing the thing right after that. So so excited to get this. So excited to get into this. Uh, had to get this in because it, you guys know I did a buddy read with uh, Ben uh, at Bingus Khan and Chris at uh, Christopher Novel's channel and Zara Books with Zara. We did our first GGK read, Song for Auburn, and uh, that is in the running for me probably for Book of the Year. Such a special read. And when we were done, we just couldn't let it go. We, you know, we were like, what's our next GGK read? Let's do our next GGK read together. And w w what's the first opportunity we could maybe squeeze that in? And I think the first opportunity will be May, and we'll all be coming back together again uh, to, to read more Guy Gavriel K. And what we decided to read next was Tagana. So I had to get a copy of Tagana because, you know, I have to be ready for the buddy read. Absolutely. And and GGK, I absolutely just adored his work, and I cannot wait to get into uh, this 30th anniversary. Wow. that's I didn't know it was that far back, but... It's an old book. Yeah, yeah. So I can't wait to get into this and see if I like it as much as Song for Our Bond. So this will probably be coming up in May with a buddy read. And I have saved what I think... You know how we were just saying, if you'd have told me 10 months ago, like, pfft, no way. I, I'm No way I'm signing on to that. Right. No way. I would have believed 10 months ago that the amazing artist writer that is Janny Wirtz would be contacting me through Twitter and going, would you like for me to send you a copy of, of one of my books uh, for you to take a look at and read uh, if you're interested at all? If I'm interested at all, are you kidding? Get the women and children out of my way. I'm going to run at this opportunity so fast. I'm going right well, over top of don't me. Don't attack her. I'm she, going, not what well, she's I, a that, legend. Yeah, that came out weird. But I'm, well, who's ever in front of me, I'm barreling at this opportunity. Uh, the only thing I have read of Janny Wirtz to this point uh, was the Empire trilogy that she wrote with Raymond E. Feist, big Raymond E. Feist fan, all the way from back in the day. And I just it was like lightning in a bottle. What she added to Raymond's work, uh, doing the flip side of that rift war, looking at different periods of a one woman's life, amazing life that she changes the world that she lives in, it, it was so moving to me. Uh, I, I I literally had tears at the be at the end of two out of the three books. Actually, three out of the three. Some freely fell, and some... One was like that just lone Denzel tear, and then some was a little bit more of an ugly cry. So there's some hit me more than others, but all three hit me. Uh, right after I finished that trilogy, I immediately went and, and got her first book of her massive series, War of Light and Shadows. Uh, I don't have a spot in my TBR yet to start another massive series. So she was so enormously generous and kind to send me a uh, standalone uh, that she says is a bit denser, a bit more of her style, uh, prose-wise, because she's not co-authoring with anyone else. Uh, and she was, I just, she sent me a lovely letter. Uh, she sent me just some, some, a reading list of how to go about War of Light and Shadows when I do get there. It was just the absolutely most thoughtful uh, package for her to put together. And I mean, this is a busy woman. Not only is she finishing up this massive series of War of Light and Shadows this year where the when the final volume comes out, she's painting the covers herself. I mean, she absolute Renaissance woman 
operating on so many levels of art. And I have heard her interviewed on so many different channels. She is like a spirit animal to me. She always inspires me with her words when she's talking about her work uh, and, and, and other people's work and the sphere of art in general. Uh, it, just the time I've spent with listening to her interviews has meant so much to me. So I cannot wait to squeeze this in somewhere. This will absolutely, absolutely be in this year in, in a TBR. I, I plan pretty far ahead, but I will squeeze this in somewhere before 2024 is over because I cannot wait to read more Janny Wirtz. And I cannot, from the bottom of my heart, thank you enough uh, for having a generous spirit to, to send this to me, Janny, and um, to reach out that way. And I just completely gobsmacked that a, an artist like that would reach out to us here. I, I would have never believed that 10 months ago. Well, I do remember from your review of the Empire trilogy that you kind of favored her writing, right? Oh, uh, you could tell what she I, added I could, to I, it. Yeah, I mean, I've read a lot of Rift War. And that trilogy for me, there was just something unquantifiable about it. There was a depth of character. Raymond works, Raymond, and I like it, he's my friend. Mr. Feist works uh, in, in icons, you know, iconography. Uh, the, the, the young boy called to a destiny above him, uh, going to a wizarding school. The, these tropes, these things we've seen before that, that we find comfortable. Uh, he subverts them in some wonderful ways because it's an alternate world, not just the world of, the, of like a, a medieval world that we're familiar with in high fantasy. So there's an iconography and a comfort level there. There was a depth of character for Mara um, that just, I mean, hit me in a profound way just personally, uh, going through that woman's life with her, her ups and her downs and her changes as she grew older. Uh, being an older person myself, I, I could recognize some of those changes. And it, uh, yeah, absolutely, I think she brought some lightning to the bottle uh, and made that trilogy special. Uh, and I can't wait to continue with her work. Absolutely. So, wow. For her to reach out and for me to have t uh, contact with her, what, what a thrill. Absolute thrill. You're part of the Jenny Wirtz Cool Kids Club now. I, I feel like, you know, when you finally get to sit at the cool kids table in high school, that's what it's like. That's, I, yeah, it's kind of exactly like that. I got my tray. I got, I got two milks, you know, how the cool kids got maybe two milks. And you, you no, know, no one knows what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I'm, I went too far. I, I, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta turn that, I gotta turn that Trans Am around and come back because that's what the cool kids drove in that, the, the cool kids drove the Trans Am. Yeah, the cool kids drove a Trans Am. So, um, so that's a hey, guys, I wish we didn't have to do the time machine version of this. I wish I would have had some reads this week to share with you. Uh, please. Don't let that not let you hit me up in comments of what you got up to this week because you... How, how many knots were in that? I, that's a lot of knots. <laughs> don't not not let you... Don't don't let this stop you from letting me know what you got up to this week because you actually lived through time linearly. Well done. Right. And, saved it. And, and you can... I saved that. And you can tell me what you got up to, what's going on. I hope you had a great week. I hope you had five-star reads. Hit me up and let me know. I'm still checking comments, just like always. Absolutely love them. Uh, while you're down there leaving that comment, hit that little... Hey, that thumbs up, man. That Fonzie thumbs up. That helps us reach more people and grow the channel and do everything we do here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you know, you've maybe stopped by a time or two. Maybe this is your first time on this weird Time Machine Weekly Reader. It's not, it's not usually like this. But maybe you want to see what it's really normally usually like. Um, hit the subscribe button. Just it's go so, back and watch all the other ones and never watch us again. It, don't say that. <laughs> don't, don't put that. Don't even put that out there. Just, it's so easy. You hit the button. It's, it takes that long. It's that quick. It's so easy. And it feels good. It feels good to do it. And then that way you can come back when we have a regular weekly reader and kind of hang out with us more and more. And that would be amazing. Right? You saved that outro pretty well. I, I don't, I, you know what? By the seat of my pants. It had a rocky start, but you pulled it out. By the seat of my pants, by the skin of my teeth. Well done. Yeah. Bar barely, barely got that under control. That was, I mean, that was, that I was in the shoot with the bull, the glove under the rope, put the hand up. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for it. How many more examples can you come <laughs> up with? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much. I, this was a weird one. I hope it was a little bit of fun for everyone. 
uh, we just didn't want to not have one. We didn't want to break our streak, so we went ahead and, and did this early. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you hung out, even for this weird one, that means you are definitely some hardcore book people, and in my book, that makes you the best people. My name is John Minton, and this has been Talking Story. <laughs>